Hello Eurovision friends, thank you so much for coming to my channel again. We have another song for Eurovision 2024, they're coming out every day now. And this one is the Polish entry, it is Luna with the Tower. And as always, I will talk about different aspects of the song and performance, giving points from 1 to 5. We'll have an overall rating, then I'll give you my prediction for how Poland will do in Eurovision. And I also have your votes and your comments from the community tab of my channel. Please do subscribe to this channel if you want to participate in the votes and also see your comments maybe be featured in one of my videos. Now, before starting to tell you what I think about the song, I think there is something going on sometimes when the fan favorite doesn't win a national final, or in this case, when the right song that people really want to be chosen isn't chosen. I think this happened in Belgium last year with Gustav. People really underestimated him because they had other favorites and they kind of downgraded him for winning against their favorites and didn't realize how good the song was. And so here we have another song that people are okay with, but I've seen a lot of negative comments that this is not the song that they wanted from the songs that were submitted to the Polish national broadcaster. So having that in mind, I want to really give the song a chance and look at it as a song. This first part is my personal subjective opinion, so it is not uh, trying to be objective or if I say something is bad, it doesn't mean that it's a bad song. Okay, so you have to understand that. The first aspect I always talk about are the lyrics of the song. And I have to say I'm a bit baffled by these lyrics. I don't really quite understand what exactly the song is trying to tell me and what it is about. I have a few of them here. So in the beginning, there's obviously something wrong in her life. She's looking for a miracle, waiting for a son to catch me. I've got to find a way back home, alone, alone, alone. So that's a bit moody and dark. And then she also sings Broken Body Scattered Through My History. And I listened to the song after reading that she's a yoga teacher. And I'm not sure that you want to sing about broken bodies lining your history. Uh, that might not be the best promotion for your business, maybe. But obviously, it's about something else. But I just found that a bit funny. And then lonely hours leading to my destiny. So maybe feeling down can lead you to something better. And then the main part of the song in the chorus says, I'm the one who built the tower. I'm the one who holds the power. So common, rise up, shout it louder. And she doesn't shout anything. It doesn't get louder. It just stays the same. I don't really like that. When a song says shout it louder, you should feel something happening in the song. I'm the one who built the tower. So I don't really understand what the tower is. Is it a tower that she stands on and now she feels empowered and she's strong? Or is it the tower that she built around her to protect her from other people? I just think the lyrics are a bit clumsy and they don't really let you know what the song is actually about. And so in the end, I decided to give two and a half points for the lyrics. Now the voice, again, this is my personal opinion. When I first put the song on, it sounded a lot like Lena to me. The, the way she sings and the way her voice sounds kind of does remind me of this. And personally, I'm not a big fan of these very soft, very sweet uh, vocals. There's a hint of baby voice in there. It's not quite there. But there's a hint of it there. And just personally, I don't really like that as much. It is just a video, so we don't really know how her live vocals will be. However, it is not a hard song to sing, I think. There are not a lot of variations. There's no high notes, no register changes or anything like that. So it should be quite easy to sing, actually. But because personally, I don't like this kind of voice, I'm giving two and a half points. Again, not saying that it's a bad voice, just my opinion. Then the performance and the artist as well. She obviously has an artistic concept. She has a very distinct look, a visual identity that is very distinguishable. However, this Eurovision, we have a few of those and she kind of seems like the little sister or the sister of Raven and also Sylvester Belt in this distinct look and the way she dresses in a way 
the look is more Raven and the way she dresses is more Sylvester Belt. So we have that already, so it doesn't stand out as much. But I do like that it's distinguishable. She has a concept. You also see the fashion and the music video. So she really knows what she wants to present to the world. And I really like that. And that is why I give four out of five points for performance and artist. Now, we don't have a staging. Usually I talk about the staging. We only have a video. I think there are a lot of visual ideas in this video that are smart, interesting, the chessboard, but I don't really understand what it's about either. Maybe that's just me and there's a whole meaning to it that I'm not seeing. Um, it's visually high quality. It's a high value production. So I think they are investing in this. And so I kind of also expect a good staging. There are already a few ideas that seem very Eurovision with the bands around her and she's on that tower. I guess you can do a lot of staging with that. So when we only have a video, this is a bit of speculation, but I do think that we will have a quite impressive staging, but because the visual concept is impressive but doesn't really tell a story, at least to me, in the end I only gave three out of five points. Now the song I would describe as bubblegum radio pop, it's very radio friendly, it's kind of generic, like it's not something that we haven't heard before, it is very repetitive, not just the verses verse, chorus, verse, chorus structure, but even within the verses and within the chorus, you have a lot of repetitions. It's always the same melody line in a way, and that makes it relaxing to listen to it. And it kind of creates an interesting atmosphere. It's almost like floating, sweet, a little esoteric as well. Not sure whether I'm influenced by the fact that I know that she's a yoga teacher, but <sighs> It's just very repetitive. And as if you know me, I don't like these repetitive songs. The lyrics are kind of repeated over and over again as well. I do like later on in the song that a faster beat comes in, but it's kind of too little too late. And it's also not noticeably faster, I guess. So it kind of is in between. I don't really know how to rate it, to be honest, because I do like the atmosphere but I don't like the fact that it's quite repetitive. And so in the end, I went with half, uh, two and a half points for the song. The song counts three times, the rest once, and that gives us, whoops, we already had it there, sorry, two and three quarters points for Poland. I decided to do the quarters because now we have so many songs, we kind of have to distinguish that as well. Now, before telling you my prediction for how Poland will do in Eurovision, do subscribe to this channel to uh, participate in the votes and also to see my videos, my lyric interpretations, just subscribe and I don't have to say this anymore. Now, um, for the prediction, Poland has to qualify, obviously. So as always, I look at the qualification rate during the last 10 years and they qualified 67% of the time, which is quite good, I think. Last time they qualified, obviously, in 2023, when no one thought they could with Blanca and they are in semi-final one, which people are already calling the semi of death. I think that's a bit exaggerated, but it is very strong and they are in the first half. I think I forgot to say that the song is quite catchy as well because of the repetitiveness. And if you're in the first half of a strong semi, that might actually be a positive because people will remember the song. And then also, I think we already have so many loud songs from Finland loud in the way visually or musically very distinct and a lot is happening. Slovenia is kind of like that. Ireland is like that. Uh, who else do we have? Serbia might be like that. So I think maybe having this bubblegum, simple, relaxing pop might actually be a positive if there is so much that is already very televote friendly and very out there in a way. And so I do believe that in the end, Poland will make it and will qualify to the final. And then in the final, we have the juries, of course. And here it depends a bit on the vocal performance, but I think that they might go for something like this more than, for example, Denmark and maybe even Germany, who are also in this generic mainstream pop lane, because this at least has a bit of a different atmosphere and feel to it. And so in the end, I think this will be 13th to 19th, because I think in the big running order with 26 song, songs uh, for televoters, this will kind of disappear in the crowd a little bit. But for juries, they might actually kind of go for it. 
that is my prediction. I also have your votes from the community tab of my channel. 6% uh, gave this song 5 stars, 22% 4 stars, that's quite good actually. 48%, a very clear majority, gave it 3 stars, 16% 2 stars, and 7% 1 star. So we kind of agree here. I have it between 2 and 3, and you are kind of between 4 and 2. And most of you think that it's a 3 star entry. Now let's also look at some of your comments. Ados Tarak says, not sure why, but the song is kind of boring to me. Sorry, guys. Well, that's just your opinion. You don't have to apologize. Then Chilia Lachi, sorry, have heard this a million times before. That's what I mean by generic. It's not like something that is completely new and fresh and you think, wow, this is so different. And Kalten Glass says, I think at this point it might be smarter to go with a palpable pop song than an out there televote favorite. Okay, that's what I just said as well. Yes, the semis are 100% televote, but there's a sizable audience for less bombastic songs as well. This one is well produced and Luna seems to have a strong visual identity. Exactly. If it makes it to the final, it might get out of, uh, it get, might get some of those sweet, sweet, and then it's a jury point. Sorry, I kind of cut that off. Sorry about that. See, that's the Gustav effect, I think, at play here. Tanner Bellman says, safe, sweet, catchy. I think it will be a grower for me, but my first impression was sort of underwhelmed. That might be because I liked some other songs in the running a bit more for sure, though. So I need some time to get over it. So that's the Gustav effect for you. What I had mentioned before about the fan favorite not winning and then the song that did win kind of gets uh, underrated a little bit. Then the Mr. Pushy says, as a poll, so disappointed how this was chosen. I guess you're talking about the fact that it was chosen by a jury and there was no televised national final. I understand that. Reminds me of Germany and Denmark. It's genericness. At least it's a weak song for semi-final one, particularly the first half. We needed that. Oh, I'm a bit sorry that you feel this uh, yeah, unoptimistic about your song. It's Belly says, I just wish my country had enough courage to just go with an insane entry that doesn't follow the beaten path. I mean, it's okay. I wish Luna good luck because the song is good, but there's no wow factor to it whatsoever. It's too safe. But maybe what I just said that there are too many bombastic songs. Maybe this might be a place to breathe for people and they might actually notice it and it might stand out for not being bombastic, but we shall see. And then Blackma Fuga says, not the flashiest song out there, but I think the beat is strong enough for a potential high energy staging and performance. The video aesthetic is nice and I hope that can translate well live. And Zim Nyak Master says, this is so underrated with great staging and vocals. This is top 10 material. Maybe even do something that Poland have never done, doing just as well with the juries as with the televote. Yeah, I think this is... A song that can appeal to both jurors and televote. That's actually true. Let me know in the comments what you think. My The light just went out, sorry. Let me know in the comments what you think of the song, how you would rate it, and also uh, what your prediction is for Poland in Eurovision. Please subscribe to this channel and come back for my next video. See you then and bye-bye.